guys on today's video I'm going to teach you how to pair your Xbox controller with your iPad right here. It doesn't really matter which iPad you guys have, iPad mini, iPad Air, iPad Pro, such as this one, they're all going to be the same process when you're pairing them up. So first of all, what you guys need to do is go right into your settings. Under your settings, go right into Bluetooth. Under Bluetooth, you guys will see several options, but you won't see this just yet until you power it on. Now, if this is paired with your Xbox and you press this, your Xbox will turn on. So just make sure to unplug your Xbox just for now or unsync this with your Xbox so you guys won't have that confusion just for now. Once you do that, just hold the power button, power it up, okay? And then all we have to do is sync it up just by pressing this. So we're gonna press that, all right? And then under Bluetooth devices, we will see this popping up. Just have to wait for it just a little bit have it pretty close to it, so it detects it. So there we go, it detected it. So it's supposed to say, just like you guys see right here, Xbox wireless controller. So we're gonna tap right there. It's okay if you guys don't see it right away, it will pop up very soon and have your controller really close. All right, so right now it's saying connected. So right here, it should say connected, just like you guys see, Xbox wireless controller connected. So right now, I can't really do anything, right? That's because it's not made for that. Even if you press this, that, 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 that doesn't mean it's not connected, okay? Just because you're doing stuff and nothing happens right here. This is not a keyboard, it's a controller. So what you guys need to test it out with is a game. So what we're gonna do is test it out exactly with that, a game. So let's just go into any game such as Fortnite. So right now I'm in Fortnite, as you guys can see, I can control it using this and I can just press play and go ahead and play Fortnite. So I can go ahead, jump out, move down, side to side, no problem. So you guys can see, this fully works. I can land here, this works just fine. Yep, so it does fully work with Fortnite and actually a ton of games. So if you guys have um, App Arcade, there's a bunch of games that actually require a controller for your Apple TV, if you guys have an Apple TV. If you guys have an iPad, then you don't require, well, they don't require a controller, but you know, controllers are always, always better to have. Much, much faster, much, much, much easier to actually get around and do all your thing. So I'm just gonna build so you guys can see that you can actually build once you guys have this. You guys can shoot, no problem, see? There's no problem, you guys can dig your way through things. So controller works, and it works without any lag from what I can see so far. So if you guys are thinking of getting a controller just to play right here on your iPad or your iPhone, it's the same thing really, then yeah, Xbox controller will, will work just fine. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.